did at times. Well, speaking but. of series, we can have a chat uh, with the giant Lockwell Skelton who's on the phone now. How are you, mate? Yeah, good boys, how are you? Good, another bonus point win for you guys, 50 points scored again. Everything seems to be uh, going pretty well. Yeah, yeah, um, we played some uh, some good footy at the moment and, yeah, during our rugby. Mate, it's obviously going well for you as well. You've um, People have, have mentioned how much weight you've lost. Someone said 148 kegs down to 135. First of all, how the hell have you done it? I need some help. <laughs> <laughs> um, mate, I think it's, I don't know, I probably finally just pulled my head in, I think. Um, it's been ongoing things throughout my career. I mean, um, you know, weight issues and having coaches and, and training staff saying you've got to be lighter and um, I'd lose tons of weight and then put it back on straight away. So I think for me, just really knuckling down and and just putting the foot down and, we, we sign a nutritionist uh, away from the club that sort of uh, helps me with my accountability a bit and, and it's been really good, so enjoying it. Yeah. Have you got his number? Do you want to name that nutritionist? I don't know. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a woman, actually. She, her name's Amelia. You find her on social media and stuff. Oh, She's I'm really look. <laughs> Does she come to your house and cook everything for you? No, that's, that's all me, mate. Oh, that's where I'm going to go wrong. <laughs> the old chocolate cupboard. Um, obviously looking forward to this weekend. Quinn's uh, away. Quinn's always get themselves up for this. We've got Big Joe Marler sat next to me here. Hi, Big Will. How are you? Yeah, good, man. How are you? Yeah, good. I don't think we should engage too much. Um, you know. Yeah, no, no, no just, uh, tactics. No, exactly. We'll just wait till Saturday. <laughs> um, so if, I'm not being awkward, although I usually am awkward, but I'll see you Saturday, all right? Obviously, you're expecting a, a massive battle from them. They've had a good win at the weekend. Um, how do you see the game developing? Yeah, I think um, yeah, I think it's gonna be very physical. Um, you know, watching the, a bit of footage from Quinns on the weekend, you know, um, set piece wise, very strong. Um, and also at the line up there, I think Kevy's back, big James Hall, so it'll be a, a, a good match up for, for our, our locks in that department and then um, yeah, man, I'm looking forward to it. We we lost last year and it still stings a bit, um, when you lose to the Quins, I, I never knew about the rivalry until I got there last season. So, um, very geared up for the game. <laughs> you want to see what Joe Marler's doing here? He's like, mate, he's two you years can't. Off. Two just, years. You just said two years just on the trot. You can't just invent shit, mate, just to start <laughs> no, you more just said, heat. You said two. There's going to be enough heat on Saturday okay, anyway. And I'll you're leave just it. Making up bullshit, all right? <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. 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 Well, uh, speaking to, we were speaking to um, Horwell the other night at the at the live show, especially about the Wallabies' current situation. Currently seventh yeah. in the world. What is going on? Oh, man, I can't tell you. I mean, I just, yeah, mate, I'm, I, yeah, it, hurt, it hurts me too, mate. It hurts me watching them as well. So, um, you know, I wish hope they can get the result this week and uh, turn things around. And just on that, obviously, you're you're contracted to Saris till the end of the season, aren't you? Yep, correct. Yep. And then is that are you looking at thinking, geez, you know, I want to get back there and, and play in the World Cup? Is it something that you've spoken about with Saracens or or Czechs over in Australia, or is it just let's see how it goes on this year? You're doing well, and what what will be will be. Yeah, I think I think that, that last one there is it. I think we're, we're I'm worried about first off this first we I set a goal these first eight games, try and play play some good footy, and then um, reassess at the end of that block. So we've got three more games left, but. Yeah, obviously the World Cups it's a massive um you know, it's a festival of rugby. It's it's our as a as a rugby player that's that's where you want to play rugby and I think um it's been it has been on my mind recently but in saying that, you know, I'm really enjoying my footy at Sarri, so uh I think we'll I'll I'll leave that to my agent, um, with him talking to whoever he has to talk to and then we can just uh we'll see what happens at the end of this block. You must be, um, it was a rite of passage for, for Aussies to come over and, and spend a bit of time in the UK and travel through Europe. Any any highlights that you've managed to visit so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, um, we've we done a bit. We've been to Italy and Spain and uh, went to Ibiza in summer. Oh, um, beef. But yeah, it's, mate, there's some really good spots, really good spots in Europe. So it, there's places that you, you wouldn't get to um, go to when you're in Oz, um, being so, so far away. So... For us, whenever we get time off, my wife and my wife Kate and I, we we try and travel as much as we can, and I get a bit of stick from the lads because uh, I've I got injured a bit last year, and we I, I, I travelled every away game, so I was in a different um, 
different spot every uh, every second week. So oh, a lot of the boys ripped into me about that. Nice. <laughs> so it's all fun. Uh, normally I've got uh, Big Jim Hamilton sat next to me, but he's away this week. You obviously played with him. Or I said you played with him. You played for the first team. He played for the A team on a Monday night at Saracens. <laughs> uh, any good memories of, of Big Jim? Big Jim. Um, you don't remember him, do you? No, we, we um, yeah, well, I, I got put into a change room when I first arrived, and uh, that was always a, a good laugh. He'd be icing his knees and, and his ribs and his shoulders after every session, and that was always funny. But no, I, I love Jim. He's, he's a really good bloke and um, yeah, helped me settle into the club when I first came. So, um, no, nothing but good things to say about Jimmy. Uh, Joe Marler disagrees, so uh, maybe, maybe you can talk about that on the pitch on Saturday. Yeah, we'll have a chat well, on Joe, Saturday. Yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Right, well, thank you so much for joining us, mate. Good luck for Saturday, and uh, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll see you on that green and gold next year. Oh, I hope so, mate. Thanks so much. Cheers, Cheers Will. Will. He must be looking at, at trying to get back into the Wallabies mix at some point, because he's, he's obviously putting in the work. Yeah, I think it's one of those things. He came over for a short stint, didn't he, originally? Um, and, you know, he's a... He's a massive user. Did he come over and then go back? Yeah. 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 He's a, and then he came back again. And obviously well, when what it, was the injury dispensation then? Are you, are you talking salary cap here, Joe? Or? I didn't mention those words. <laughs> and I will not be going down that route. No, do not okay. do it, Joe. That is not something the wage cap. I know enough about exactly. to get involved in. So I will never, ever get involved with that sort of conversation until I fully retire. <laughs>